guys. Say hi, Avery. Say hello. Welcome to Avery's three month update. My little girl is three months old and I'm sad to say she's technically not a newborn anymore. I guess the newborn phase is like zero to three months and now that she's, she's like a week past it, she's not a newborn anymore. She's like a baby, an infant, I guess. I don't really know what she is <laughs> now, but she's getting so big. So I thought I would just update you guys on Avery. I don't really have like official stats for her because we don't go to the pediatrician until four months now, but I did weigh her on the scale. Like I held her, went on the scale and then weighed myself, subtracted the difference. And I got about 11 pounds. It was like 11 pounds, eight ounces. So she has grown about a pound since last month. She's getting so big. I'm not really sure how tall she is, but we will definitely see next month when we go to the pediatrician. Avery has started to chew on her her hands she has discovered them and any chance she gets she will chew on them so she's definitely discovered her hands it will be interesting to see if she is a finger sucker like her brothers both her brothers suck on fingers Grayson does like well he used to do the middle two Porter does like these two so it'll be interesting to see if she's a finger sucker too she does not like pacifiers so if she was gonna suck on something it would probably be her fingers apparently there's something over here that she likes looking at I have like a gray and white striped towel I wonder if she likes that because babies like the black and white contrast a lot so I wonder if that's what she's looking at Avery is now sleeping through the night Woohoo! She does it pretty consistently. Every now and again, she'll wake up at like 3 or 4 a.m. and want a midnight snack, I guess. But for the most part, she is sleeping through the night. We don't really have to do the 7 to 9 party anymore because she's doesn't really need it. So she usually goes down about 8, 8.30, sometimes 9 if her nap schedule has been off. But yeah, usually about 8 and then she'll sleep. If she sleeps through the night, it's till 7.30 in the morning. Um, if she has a little midnight snack, sometimes she'll sleep in a little later, maybe until like 8, 8.39, so it just kind of depends. She's definitely getting more on a schedule though. She will do two long naps in her crib, one long nap in the morning from about 9-ish to about 12, 12.30. And then she will do another long nap in the afternoon from about 1.32 till about 5, 5.30. So two really long naps. And then it's always that last bit of the day that's kind of iffy. Sometimes we go on walks with the kids since it's warm outside and it's summer. And so she'll snooze in the stroller. Sometimes she'll snooze um, like in the swing or on me. It's just kind of like iffy. Sometimes she'll take a snooze in the crib, but I never let her sleep longer than seven because then it kind of messes up with her bedtime. But she loves sleeping in her crib she's still in the bassinet next to me at night although with her sleeping through the night technically I could move her out of the crib and I am starting to get those thoughts of maybe it's time to move her to the crib but I don't want to move her yet I know I don't want to lose you because I just like having her next to me but I know as soon as I move her I'll be so happy I did so that is coming for sure but she loves her crib and she loves her bassinet and she also loves being swaddled. She has a really hard time. Look at you. Look how big you are. She has a really hard time sleeping if she's not swaddled because she's still like her legs, her arms go everywhere all the which way and it wakes her up. She has started to Houdini out of her swaddles. She will break free and then she won't sleep through the night if she does that. So she's getting a little too big. We have swaddle knees that we put her in, but eventually I'm gonna have to change her to the halo swaddles, which are for a little bit bigger. And I'm dreading the day when we have to stop swaddling her arms because I just don't feel like she'll sleep as well. But we haven't had to do that yet. Avery's favorite thing to do is lay on her back and just kick around. If there's a ceiling fan on the ceiling, she will look up and just stare at it. I'll turn it on for her so she can look at it. But she is just so content to just lay on her back. I swear sometimes she likes it better than being held. She just likes being free, wiggling all around. She started to scoot a little bit and so I'll put her down one way and then I'll watch and she'll like turn herself this way. She's starting to get tired so I might have to continue this without her but yeah she loves laying down loves looking up at things 
She also loves watching her brothers play. I'll put her on the floor and the brothers will just be like running around going crazy and she loves looking at them, watching them. Porter will come and sing her a song. She loves it. They give her hugs and kisses, which she loves. She just doesn't love it when they accidentally step on her at times. I am always having to remind her them, watch out for the baby, watch out for the baby. So yeah, that's been something. The big thing that happened this past month where we discovered Avery had a tongue tie, lip tie, and two cheek ties. So we went and got those revised. Okay, I am feeding Avery, so I adjusted the camera up so that you guys can't see that. Um, but yes, we figured out she had ties in her mouth. We got those taken care of, got them lasered off, and this past month has really just been recovering from that. Avery's been learning her new mouth and also doing the mouth stretches, which she hated. We had to do them three times a day. For three weeks, every eight hours, we had to do stretches and she hated it. I felt so bad doing it all the time, but we are done. She has recovered and I feel like her latch is definitely better and I'm hoping it's gonna help us with bottles. Update on bottles, Avery still does not like um, nursing from a bottle. She will only nurse from my boobs, which is very limiting for me. We have tried several different bottles. Right now, the best luck that we've had is the Lanisso, Lassino bottles, and then the Evenflow bottles, because they're more of a wider nipple. So we're trying every day to introduce bottles to her. Hopefully it will catch on soon so that other people can feed her. But as of right now, we are struggling and she does not like the bottle. So that's been fun. Avery still really doesn't like being in her car seat. She doesn't like that restriction. She likes to be free and lay down and kick around. She can't really do that in the car seat, so she does not like that. She also does not like tummy time. We do it several times a day. She hates it, complains the whole time. She has rolled over like three times so far, and it's been like a month since she's done it since last time, so it's like she just, sorry, I'm burping her. So it's like she just figured it out and then was like, okay, I'm not gonna do it anymore. I'm moving on so um, she's lifting her head really well she's got really good neck strength now but she uh, hates tummy time unfortunately for her but we do it all the time so that she can eventually roll over she doesn't really seem to want to roll from her back to her belly yet but we are keeping an eye on that for swaddle reasons Avery loves baths Still, I give her bath about once a week, sometimes maybe twice if she's really dirty. She loves bath time. Um, she's very calm during it and loves it. Sorry, I'm still trying to feed her. A big change is Avery used to hate being naked and now she loves being naked. Um, I'll get her naked at the end of the day and she would just love it and kick around, especially in the pack and play and just talk and coo. She's talking more, which is super fun. She loves it when people come and talk to her and give her attention. She will start to talk back and coo and make eye contact and she started to track things much better. She'll try and talk to her brothers too. She's talking to me right now, telling me she's mad. I think she's getting tired for a nap. She only lasts about an hour, an hour and a half, and then she's ready to go back down for a nap. So those wake windows are still pretty tiny compared to her brothers. Avery also likes playing with toys. She likes her little um, monkey play around kick piano toy. And then she also likes this lion toy that I found that the boys really liked and it's got like rattles on it and she likes looking at it. I'm trying to get her to like grasp things and hold on to them, but she hasn't really figured that out yet. She also likes playing with like these keys. These are like teether keys. She likes, it's like thin enough that she can hold it and try to wiggle it a little bit. So just, we're experimenting with just different toys that she might like. Her eye gunk and boogers have been getting better. She still has like a little bit of an eye booger on the right side, but it does seem like those tear ducts are starting to open up, which is good because um, now her eyes aren't as crusty anymore. But other than that, I think that's kind of it for Avery. Um, she's a good baby. She's just being a little fussy right now. Um, but that's gonna be it for her three month update. Can you say bye? Say bye. Goodbye. Say I'm grumpy. Yeah. Yeah, I want to take a nap. Go put me down, woman. All right. 
Um, other things with Avery, her eyes, I think they're going to be brown, which is crazy because both her brothers have blue eyes, but I have brown eyes. So we'll see. They're turning a little dark. And then her hair, she's starting to get a little bit more. She doesn't have much. And it is coming in a little bit blonde, I think. Or maybe it's brown not really sure but this is Avery at three months old I just wanted to create this video for you guys so say bye Avery bye bye say bye bye mwah, mwah. thanks so much for watching make sure to stay tuned for more monthly updates from Avery as she gets bigger and we will see you guys in the next video bye say bye 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 that smile. She still got that one dimple. She'll smile if I say ma 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 and da 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 ma 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 ma. Still haven't gotten laughs out of her yet, but I know they're coming. Ma 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 da 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 da. Yeah, it's so sweet. Oh, and she's very grunty. Very grunty, huh? Say hi. Hi. You gonna tell them something? What do you wanna say? What are you gonna say? Is that it? You're done?